so much is going on in the world. Let's just try to show each other a little more love. Okay. <laughs> and I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. It's a lot going on in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm already out here a uh, husband stealer. And this is too much. And ain't nobody out here stealing husbands. Are they? I would know. Y'all, the battle line has been drawn between Portia Williams and Nene Leakes because Portia just came out to accuse Nene of trying to steal her man, Simon Gubadia. In case y'all missed the tea, Nene recently came out to accuse Portia of being a fake friend, trying to come for her bag, and spreading fake rumors to make things hard for Nene. Well, Portia is now convinced that this is all part of Nene's grand master plan to get Simon, hook up with him, and get some money, while making sure that Portia is out of the picture. Chili, these two are serving up some real housewives drama, so y'all better hop on this drama because we're about to get into a messy cat fight. Simon had a birthday. We were all in Miami together. We hung out for the whole weekend to celebrate Simon's birthday. We all decided one weekend to go to Vegas to see Usher. We all went to Vegas to see Usher, couples. Um, I was in Dubai, Portia and Simon were in Dubai. We all hung out. Uh, Yanni and I have gone to Simon and Portia's home to have to hang out, party, drink. One thing about the Real Housewives of Atlanta, they know how to serve up some drama and they know how to serve it up real good. I mean, the cameras don't even have to be rolling for the drama to be out in full effect. And that's exactly what's going on. In case y'all have been under a rock or something, Portia Williams and Nenny Leaks have been going back and forth on social media. It all started when Nenny came out to call Portia a backstabber and accused Portia of betraying her. Then Portia accused Nenny of being a fake friend. And well, things just got out of hand from there. Portia has been in the media for a hot minute now as a result of her messy situation with her husband, well, soon to be ex-husband, Simon Gubadia. Portia and Simon have only been married for a little over a year, but they are already on the path to getting a divorce. Now, I know that marriages in Hollywood be lasting for five business days, but Portia is kind of justified in trying to divorce Simon because, baby, the things that he has been accused of are just insane. And from the looks of it, Portia might have been caught by surprise as much as we were. I mean, it was only a week before he got exposed that she was out here bragging about how she was returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta and she used her married name, Portia Gubadia. Who said that? Portia Williams coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta? That's false. But Portia Gubadia is in the building. <laughs> Well, the next thing we knew, Simon was getting exposed for being a fraud, a liar, and a scammer. People didn't really feel all that sorry for Portia because of how she and Simon got together. See, Simon has a history of cheating on both of his ex-wives, and his second wife, Fallon, was actually Portia's friend. Oh, and don't even get me started on Simon's revelations about how his father or grandfather, I don't know which one, but one of them had 25 wives, and I don't even want to imagine how many kids he had. So yeah, Simon didn't think that him cheating wasn't that big of a deal. For those who probably don't remember how Simon and Portia became a thing, they first met while Simon was still married to her friend, Falyn. Falyn first joined the show in 2020 as a friend of Portia's, and according to reports at the time, Falyn is known around Atlanta as a socialite, and her husband, Simon Gubadia, is paid, like Bentleys and private jets paid. As for how she fits into the group, well, right now, she's friends with Portia and Shemaya. The rest of the ladies seem to like her, and she might accompany the girls on their upcoming trip to the Carolinas. At the time, Falyn claimed that Simon was the one who put pressure on her to join the show, even though she didn't want to. Kind of makes me wonder if he was hungry for some of that Hollywood fame, because he was already rich, so it couldn't have been about the money. Now, y'all know that Poor's Alkies that good life a little too much, and fans started to get suspicious when he and Portia started getting closer and closer. It got to a point where they started to hang out alone together without Fallon, but they denied that anything was going on between them. Portia even claimed that she was still nursing a broken heart from her ex, Dennis, and how he cheated on her. Well, the Next thing we knew, Simon filed for divorce from Phelan, and a month later, Portia announced that she and Simon were a thing and had even gotten engaged. She wrote, Our relationship began a month ago. Yes, we are crazy in love. I know it's fast, but we are living life each day to its fullest. For all of you that need facts, I get the optics, but Simon filed for divorce from a previous marriage in January. I had nothing to do with their divorce filing. That's between the two of them. Phelan and I are not friends, and Simon's divorce has been settled. Our relationship is a positive, loving, 
step forward in everybody's lives. This was Seuss, and she got dragged for being a man stealer. Phelan even accused her of stealing her man, saying in an interview, Do I feel like I trusted her enough? Sure, yeah, I didn't think she was the type of woman who would come in and plot on a woman's husband. Absolutely not. I did not get that at all from her at that time. Fans were looking forward to seeing the drama play out on the show, but Portia announced that she was leaving the show. However, she denied that she was running away because of the circumstances surrounding her relationship with Simon. She said, I wasn't running away, and I don't think any of my followers who truly knew me would believe that I would run away from the show for that. I've dealt with a lot of harsh things on the show, Williams recalls to People, and I've been there at the beginning of every season to film with the camera on, so no, this had nothing to do with that. She also said, I had already decided that it was time for me to step away at least six months before I told any of the executives what I was going to do, and long before I even met my now husband, she says. I was turning 40, I was hitting my 10-year mark on the show, and I really just had to reassess where I was and what I wanted totally out of my life, so that's where that decision came from. After leaving the show, she went on to marry Simon. They were living a good life until Simon got exposed for lying and scamming his way into the US, and Portia got humiliated. It turns out that he had lied his way into permanent residency in the US, and not only that, but he had committed several acts of fraud, identity falsification, and so many things that I'm not even going to get into. Portia got clowned because, can you even imagine how embarrassing it is to steal your friend's man only for the man in question to get exposed as a fraud and a skameer? Well, it didn't take long for divorce rumors spread, and Portia admitted to it when she posted, thank you for your prayers and your support, Portia Williams. If Portia thought that Simon was going to mourn the end of their marriage, well, she was in for a shocker because not only was Simon not sad, but he also didn't waste time moving on after she left, and he already has a new boo thing on his arms that he has been flaunting on social media. And the thing is, he's not just posting his new buy because he loves her, he's doing it to get under Portia's skin and upset her. He even pinned a comment from a fan who said, I am not gonna lie, she is way more beautiful than Portia. Simon, you are a messy Gemini, lol. You know how to hit someone where it hurts. If I were Portia, I would be bothered for real, lol. Simon is messy AF, but hey, like they say, you lose them how you get them. And Portia sat by and watched Simon do the same thing to Phelan when they started dating. Like Beyonce said, what goes around comes back around, and Portia is learning this the hard way. If you're wondering how this ties with Nene, well, y'all just take a seat, because Portia believes that Nene is in cahoots with Simon, and she has cut Nene off because of that. For some context, Nene's man, Nyoni Celesio, and Simon are friends, and so Portia believes that there is a little something something going on between Nene and Simon. We found out about the beef between Nene and Portia a couple of days ago when Nene went live on Instagram to reveal that Portia had stabbed her in the back and she was feeling betrayed. Now, if you have watched The Real Housewives of Atlanta, then you know that Portia and Nene have had their issues off and on during the show. They have had beef, fought, and thrown insults, but they settled their issues. In fact, Nene claimed that they were working on building a friendship, and she and Nioni had built a friendship with Portia and Simon after they had both left the show, and she claimed that they often hung out and went on double dates as couples. She assumed that things had been great between them for a while, which is why Portia's betrayal came as a shock to her. According to Nene, she had been booked to appear on an episode of the Netflix show, The Upshaws, and she was excited to do it, especially after she found out that Portia had also been booked to appear on the same episode as her, so they would be filming together. But then, when the day of the shoot came, Portia didn't show up on set, and Nene was confused, only for her team to tell her that Portia had reached out to the producer of The Upshaws to tell them that she wouldn't be doing the show anymore because she didn't want to work with Nene, saying that she and Nene had beef. Here goes. So earlier this week, I was told by my management company that um, the Netflix scripted series called The Upshaws were interested in casting me for a part. Uh, they told me that Portia William Gubadia was also playing in this particular series. She would be side by side with me. Excited. I haven't seen Portia. Uh, we always have a good laugh when we see each other. So I was just like, okay, so me and Portia are gonna kill this part. They told me we were gonna be having rehearsal. Um, at rehearsal, I didn't see Portia. There was a stand-in. Uh, we broke for lunch. We came back. We were gonna do a whole run-through. I still didn't see Portia. Uh, I'm just waiting to see Portia, right? I'm excited to see Portia. I'm like, well, I wanna, you know, wait till I see Portia on set. So me and her can chop it up. So Portia never came. 
uh, we wrapped for the evening. I went back to my hotel. When I got to my hotel, production called me and asked me if I had any issues with any housewives because they were going to be casting, recasting the other position. And I was like, oh my God, no, like what? And um, they were gonna recast the position that Portia was playing. I was, I was later told that Portia did not show up to work and had said that she did not want to work with me, that we had had uh, issues from the past and she did not want to work with me. Let me take that in for a second. Listen, I am more than disappointed. Portia and I have double dated a few times, okay? Um, Okay. Simon had a birthday. We were all in Miami together. We hung out for the whole weekend to celebrate Simon's birthday. We all decided one weekend to go to Vegas to see Usher. We all went to Vegas to see Usher, couples. Um, I was in Dubai, Portia and Simon were in Dubai. We all hung out. Uh, Yanni and I have gone to Simon and Portia's home to have, to hang out, party, drink. My son came over, brought hookahs. We ate African food, had a great time. Of course, Portia had a wedding and I'm at her wedding. Um, I've seen Portia in Atlanta out. We've laughed and talked. I am shocked that Portia would go to a production company. And I am shocked to hear that Portia would go to a production company and say that she doesn't want to work with me because we've had a lot of issues in the past. Minnie also accused Portia of portraying her as being difficult to work with. Besides that, as black women, okay, when you call a black woman angry, difficult, we've got problems, I can't work with them on set, that is a death trap for a black woman in the industry. We don't have any issues that we can't work together. We have issues that we can't work together. We are professionals. We get on set and we work together and do what we gotta do. Your issues in the past, if you had to pick a housewife, it certainly wouldn't be with me. It would have been with Kenya, it would have been with Candy. Those were your major issues. We've had petty things, we're on a reality show. So we obviously are gonna have some sort of issues, but we've not had anything where we could not work together. Nini sounded pretty hurt by what went down, and I'm not gonna lie, she made some solid points about how dangerous it can be for black women when rumors like that get spread about them. Black women already have have it hard enough in the industry without having to deal with rumors of being angry and impossible to work with. Nanny didn't stop there because she revealed that she had tried to talk things out with Portia when she heard why Portia refused to do the show. She then said that Portia had told her that the reason she didn't want to work with Nene was that she was mad because Nanny hadn't reached out to her when she found out that Portia and Simon were getting a divorce. I text her. So it's not like I'm doing this video I didn't text her. I text her and she sent me a text back saying that she's going through her divorce and I didn't reach out to little sis. Are you serious? You and your husband were just happy and smiling in Dubai. I thought you guys were having a fight and maybe you guys are gonna get back together. I don't know what y'all personal business are. I don't wanna be nosy, okay? I don't wanna invade your privacy. Maybe you need some time. I don't know what you need. I was happy to see her and talk to her and chop it up then. I don't wanna pry. Yes, Yanni and Simon are hanging out together, but that has nothing to do with me. I'm not hanging out with Simon. Yanni's hanging out with Simon. I can't change this relationship with that man. Okay, before we go into what Nenny said, can I just point out the grand irony in this? When Simon divorced Fallon, who was Portia's friend, Portia didn't reach out to Phelan to see how she was dealing with the divorce. Instead, she slid into Simon's DMs, acted all flirty, and started dating him. So it's kinda ironic how she is now getting upset that Nenny didn't ask her how she was doing after her divorce, and it just screams karma. Anywho, back to Nini and what she had to say. I'm not gonna lie, she did make some solid points about how she didn't take the divorce news serious, because literally nobody took it seriously to start with. Everybody thought that
that it was a rumor, and when it was confirmed that it wasn't a rumor, everyone just assumed that she was trying to protect her assets after Simon's issues with immigration, and she didn't want her money to get tied up in the mess. I'm not trying to make excuses for Nene, I'm just saying. It also sounded like Portia was upset because Nene's man, Naomi Sella, was still hanging out with Simon. Portia probably expected Nene and Naomi to take her side in the divorce, so when she saw that Naomi was still hanging out with Simon, she felt betrayed and refused to work with Nene. Y'all know how I say that Nene wasn't exactly hanging out with Simon after he and Portia split. Well, Portia's betrayal clearly cut Nene deep because she then chose to go the petty way by hanging out with Simon and his new boo, and she even posted a picture of the hangout on Instagram. Talk about petty. She clearly did this to get under Portia's skin, and she succeeded because Portia has been going on a bender accusing Nene of trying to hook up with her man, or rather, her former man, and she is now accusing Nene of betraying her. Talk about a twist. According to an insider, Portia has been going around on a furious rampage, accusing Nini of trying to steal Simon and hook up with him because he's rich. She also pointed out Nini's history of stealing married men, pointing out that Nini's current man, Nioni, was married when he and Nini first got together. For some context, she is referring to the fact that things were very messy when Nini and Nioni first started dating because he was married at the time, and his wife dragged Nini for stealing her man. But Nioni's wife, Malamine, did not stop at exposing them alone because she took Nini to court and sued her for alienation of affection. Now, Neoni and his wife lived in North Carolina, which is one of the states in the U.S. that allows people to sue their spouse's side piece for alienation of affection in the event of an extramarital affair. Even though Nenny was getting a lot of hate for being the other woman, some people felt like Malamine was taking things a bit too far with the lawsuit. In the lawsuit, Malamine claimed that Nenny used her celebrity status to entice Neoni away from his family, but it didn't stop there because according to TMZ, Malamina says Nena posted picture after picture of her and her new man, humiliating Malamine and cratering her relationship with her husband. Malomina also claims she suffered emotional distress, mental anguish, and a loss of affection. Malomine asked the court to grant her $100,000 in damages because of the pain that was caused to her by the affair. So how did Nene and Neoni handle this? Well, Nene went live on Instagram and denied that she was a man stealer. So much is going on in the world. Let's just try to show each other a little more love. <laughs> and I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. It's a lot going on in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm already out here a uh, husband stealer, and this is too much. And ain't nobody out here stealing husbands. Are they? I would never. She also had an interview with E.T. and said that she felt like the lawsuit was none of her business and that Malamine should have been talking to Naomi and not her. How are you feeling about the lawsuit that was filed against you? Um, I don't feel anything. You have no feelings towards the lawsuit she filed against you? Nothing. Nothing. No, because I feel like it's their business and not mine, mm -hmm. right? And I feel like I was dragged into something that is just not my business. Mm -hmm. um, they have their own legal thing that's going on that's between them. I shouldn't have been brought into it, that's yeah. all. So I really have no feelings about it. I really think that it's something that Yanni has to handle himself. Yeah. She also decided to be petty AF and posted this video on her Instagram stories with the yours, mine, ours sound. Chili, it's the audacity for me. Now remember how Malamine said that Neoni was enticed by Nenny's celebrity status? Well, a lot of people also suspected that he was using her to get in the limelight. But Nene ignored everyone and her relationship with Neoni continued to bloom until they broke up briefly last year and the breakup was kind of messy because Nene threw mega shade at Neoni on social media, like this post where she said, a narcissist is the devil. She didn't stop there because she also posted, why do I keep meeting narcissists? Am I doing something to attract them? This is a real question. Help. And narcissists do not have the ability to self-reflect. They cannot see anything wrong with what they do and they only see fault in your reaction. They 100% believe you are the problem and they are the victim. It's my mind-blowing. They ended up getting back together after a while. And I guess this is what Nini meant when she said that she didn't believe the divorce rumors between Portia and Simon because she knows how it feels to be mad with your man and threaten a public breakup. But Portia is too mad to deal with this right now, and according to an insider, she wouldn't put it past Nene to put moves on Simon and get with him. Nene and Neoni aren't married or even engaged, so Nini is fair game. So Portia feels like this is all part of Nini's master plan to get Simon, and I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda giving Delulu. 
Fans left comments saying, Nini is so messy. She posted on her Insta story a pic of her with Portia's ex-husband, all because Portia didn't want to work with her and told the producers SMH, Nenny needs to learn to move on. Nenny has a habit of taking things too far, like, okay, y'all are fighting, but y'all usually make up. This is bridge burning behavior. It's the reason why y'all can beg, but she'll never be back on Bravo. It's also why she's been told she's difficult to work with. And Lowell, after what Portia did to her, I ain't even mad. Like Nenny said, she is not really friends with Simon. Her boyfriend is. When two people are in a relationship, they're going to be around each other's friends. How are you feeling about the lawsuit that was filed against you? Um, I don't feel anything. You have no feelings towards the lawsuit she filed against you? Nothing. Nothing. No, because I feel like it's their business and not mine, mm -hmm. right? And I feel like I was dragged into something that is just not my business. Mm -hmm. um, they have their own legal thing that's going on that's between them. I shouldn't have been brought into it, that's yeah. all. So I really have no feelings about it. I really think that it's something that Yanni has to handle himself. Yeah. Are you serious? You and your husband were just happy and smiling in Dubai. I thought you guys were having a fight and maybe you guys are gonna get back together. I don't know what y'all personal business are. I don't wanna be nosy, okay? I don't wanna invade your privacy. But y'all let me know how you feel about Portia and Nenny being hella messy and then check out this next video.